if you believe my name is welcome back to Bury Me Episode 3. We have made it home to our old apartment. And yeah, there's Flint's room. So we'll get around into it. Think about the dishes. What dishes? Flint showed me how to draw right there. Oh. Sofa? I miss this sofa. The last time we learned about what happened to her old na neighbor um, in this co apartment complex, I guess, and how he accidentally burnt the whole place down while they were coming back from the hospital due to a severe allergic reaction. Amber had, they left the brother at home. So we don't think Splint survived. So let's go in. Let's, let's see what other me is in there. Mom, what does this mean? Where is Flint? Where is he? Mom, Dad, what's going on? So she goes herself. We are in a bit of a mindscape here, so. Oh, hi. Wow, lovely. Alright, so the red is the, the fireman? You wanna move forward? Ember. Oh! Oh no, I'm the red man! Oh crap! Oh no! Oh dear. Uh, okay, well, grabbing Ember. <laughs> oh shit, uh, sh uh, sh oh, um, uh, level 6 sword. Oh. Oh my god, we can do the level 6 sword. I, I don't know. What do we want to do? <laughs> oh, oh. Hi. Ew. What the hell? What the hell is going on? What? I remembered everything. I understand now, at least, that it wasn't my fault. Sometimes life is unfair. Ted taught me that. If I hadn't eaten that cookie, we would have been home when it happened. Maybe Flint would have gotten out okay, but maybe someone else would get hurt. No one can know that. All I know is that I miss him so much. I thought if I pretend he's just hiding, that maybe, I don't know, that maybe I could see him again somehow. I didn't feel so helpless anymore. Somewhere along the way, I got lost in my own fantasy, and it got difficult for me to stop pretending. Mom and Dad told me so many times it wasn't my fault, but I wouldn't accept it, and I know now that was wrong. You can't outrun sadness, so there's no point in trying. The only way to get over something is just to face it head on. I guess in his own way, that was what Red was trying to do. He was destroying this fabrication I made around myself in hopes of reaching me. But it was only when I lost Ted, too, that I got the strength to stand up to him. And I see now it was what he wanted all along. I know I'll never see Flint again, and it makes me sad. But as Ted once said, life gets sad sometimes. All I have to do is push through, and happiness will find me again. I need to get 
some sleep now. I'll be wiser tomorrow. After all, it's going to be a brand new day. What? I mean, that was super inspiring and everything and really thoughtful, but what? Oh. Ah, my family. Oh. I don't say anymore. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> off the book. In the commission on the side as well. Of course, that's the ending. What? I didn't even do anything. So that was just it. The accepting ending, I guess. <laughs> Your log machine helps bring the chain of corruption in Paper City. Well, I guess Paper City is still alright then. Yep, we got reopened. There you go. means our web was just trying to help in the end. And everybody's fine. Hmm. Wow, any didn't even tense fine, so life is great. And they're just looking about the same. Okay, so that was just I don't know, symbolic of someone, something, anything really. Trying to tear down the walls that Amber placed so that she didn't have to deal with the trauma she went through. Ah, see? Ted's fine. Okay. And then the creepy music comes back to haunt me. Ah, oh, great. Lovely. Love it. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, this is my that you save. So that was uh, one of a few endings you can possibly get. Uh, the reason why I say a few is that seems to be the two choices that we had, but we didn't actually. I didn't actually pick any, so uh, I didn't get any achievements. So I got one ending. So let's go ahead and get at the other two while we're here. So was well, she grabs. Bed from the uh, Mom, Dad, what's going on? Is that the red clock we picked up early in Flint's room? Because it is. It's red. It's, it's clearly there for us to pick up on. So maybe that's it. A very strong charm for ripping apart Fireman's outfit. Jeez. So here we're gonna say. Nope, can't save. Okay, well, great. Grab Ember. We save here. No, we cannot save. Okay, so we're gonna level one, level six sword. Don't come any closer. I, I have a sword, and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh snap! You're gonna keep grabbing her. Stay away. If we let her come to us. I guess so, because last time we let Red get to us, so we'll let her walk very slowly down this hallway. So, 
Interesting how they've cut the half, because on the red side there's cards, make believe. Thing. Oh. I wasn't ready, and red made it difficult for me not to hate him. I don't know what'll happen now. How can I? Will it all go back to how it was before? Will I ever see Ted again? Will I ever see Flint again? I understand what happened, and I know now Red was a necessary evil. Still, going back to Paper City gave me this feeling of hope. Hope I might find him there. Hope he's just hiding, and I thought if I keep looking for him, maybe I could see him again. I didn't feel so helpless anymore. Something I was feeling deep down ever since that day. I don't want to feel like that again. Life without hope is misery. And it feels like you're waiting for a train that's long been cancelled. I'm just tired and rambling. I need to get some sleep. I'll be wiser tomorrow. After all, it's going to be a brand new day. Of course, Millie was that sick store that wasn't there because we killed her. Please, wake up. What? No. Ah! Millie! Uh, hi! It seems you had a nightmare. I don't really remember. That's alright, miss. Nightmares are best forgotten. What? Oh god, so we, we so if we pick um the sword then, which is obviously like not accepting it. sound this time it means that we just continue this loop of not accepting not moving on with our lives constantly looking for flint okay we're back again for the last one to give him the the red cloth it's crazy to think that that level six sword that we picked up ages ago that never worked on anything suddenly did this piece of This is a- I think this is a different form of accepting, I guess. This is her- because the city is symbolic of this of paper city, how she's locked herself away of it. And Red's kind of the real world where the, the city is cardboard, basically. You know, a game. And we'll just let her walk down to us, I guess. Hello. I remembered everything. I understand now, at least, that it wasn't my fault. Sometimes life is unfair. Ted taught me that. If I hadn't eaten that cookie, we would have been home when it happened. Maybe Flint would have gotten out okay, but maybe someone else would get hurt. No one can know that. All I know is that I miss him so much. I thought if I pretend he's just hiding, that maybe, I don't know, that maybe I could see him again somehow. I didn't feel so helpless anymore. Somewhere along the way, I got lost in my own fantasy, and it got difficult for me to stop pretending. Mom and Dad told me so many times it wasn't my fault, but I wouldn't accept it, and I know now that was wrong. You can't outrun sadness, so there's no point in trying. The only way to get over something is just to face it head on. I guess in his own way, that was what Red was trying to do. He was destroying this fabrication I made around myself in hopes of reaching me. But it was only when I lost Ted too that I got the strength to stand up to him. And I see now it was what he wanted all along. I know I'll never see Flint again, and it makes me sad. But as Ted once said, life gets sad sometimes. All I have to do is push through and happiness will find me again. I need to get some sleep now. I'll be wiser tomorrow. After all, it's going to be a brand new day. I think that's one of the most sweetest and inspiring things 
end of the game speeches I've ever heard. It is so... So beautiful. Alright, we got all the endings. Okay, one, two of them were exactly the same. But... I didn't know that. <laughs> but we got to see what it does. It, like... You know. So, giving him the, his cloth back, it, not doing anything, is the same ending. Accepting. I like the fact it didn't really explain what the red man really was in the end. And I'm glad he wasn't also like... Just some a man in the mask or some plushy, you know, she had. He was more symbolic, in a way. So it's, it's left up to us to really understand what's going on. What he is. There can be many things. And I like how, how no matter what ending you get, with the newspapers rolling by, I'm guessing that's what happens afterwards, that there is still hope. And... Yeah, one ending was sadder than the other one was her refusing to move forward. And I guess that's... It's sad in a way because she's, she just... Forces herself to continue living in this cardboard world. Hidden away from what was really happening to her. Um... But regardless of that... Everybody that she cared about all her plushies in her, her own world survived. That's really sweet. Oh, maybe it's like Red Reef King. He's... He's kind of very... <laughs> he's... He's, uh... He's very dead. But, uh... Who knows, he might return. Oh. A little bit of colour? Interesting. Interesting. Well, that wasn't there before. Alright, well, that is it with Bear With Me. It was weird, <laughs> but very interesting. And now that we have the full story, I, I, I understand it a lot more. And I, I, it's really enjoyable. Some of the human was a bit. Ah, uh, wasn't my taste. The puns and lame jokes. Not in my taste, but hey. I guess that's what uh, you could argue what a 10 year old would find funny and joyous. I don't know. I think this is a wonderful game. I'm so glad to have played for it, to stuck with it after all this time. And. I think the message the game gives and the good endings is really something that every one of us can take on board, you know? Like, sad things happen and the only real way to deal with them is to head straight on. We can't always hide. Sometimes we have to because we can't deal with it at the time that it happens or something like that, but when we're ready. In some way or form, we will deal with it, hopefully. This creepy music is so creepy. Oh man. Game does my head. <laughs> Game is weird. But I also love it. Well, that's it for the series. I don't think there's any more from this game. There's a few achievements you can unlock, but they're pretty simple stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be going back and replaying the whole game just to get those. Uh, most of the ones I wouldn't be able to get is the ones uh, that the choice based ones. The uh, the first one was Millie versus leaving and CBG versus a diner. And I, I double checked, I did kill CBG. Yet the game let him live on. I guess he had the excuse that he fell in and then got bed and turned away, but. 
Yeah. They gave me achievements that I killed them and called me a monster. So, there you go. <laughs> this was a wonderful game. So go check it out if you how to play it for yourself. If you want, link is always in the description and... Hopefully this game makes sense to you. <laughs> in some way or form. But anyway, that's it for this video guys. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, wear your subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you.